You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the next McDonald's Happy Meal Snack Maker in our revisit video series. This is the Drink Fountain, and uh, the reason we're remaking the videos is to update the recipes and to actually give more information, show more detail, which uh, I did not do in the original videos. So as you can see, the Drink Maker came with four cups, and in, even in the original video, I didn't mention that they were plastic and reusable, so you can reuse them. Four straws, two lids, a little scooper to measure, and then the instructions and the stickers. Now, there was one sticker with this set, and it goes right on the front. So let me put it on while I'm here. And before we go any further, it goes right in the plastic section. Right here. Okay. So now we're official, and then uh, the original packet of Kool-Aid is still in, was still in the box. So this is an original packet. Let's see if they even show a date on here. Mm, this might be some sort of date. Not sure. I don't see one offhand. But this was in the box, and then here's a new pack of Kool-Aid. So you've got the Super Fruity Cherry, artificial flavor, unsweetened. And then this is also a good source of vitamin C. It says caffeine-free. And let's look at the back. It makes two quarts. So one is one way, one is the other way. I don't think the nutritional information has changed. But, uh, you know, let me know in the comments. I'm not going to read it all. Or the ingredients. All right. So I am not going to use the original Kool-Aid that came with it. But I have this Kool-Aid here. So when I come back, I'll uh, probably go over the recipe booklet. And then uh, the uh, drink fountain a little bit in more detail. All right, so here is the booklet. And I only did one recipe in that original video. And there's quite a few more. So uh, get ready. Here we go. And here was everything that came with it. And basically, this one is really easy to put together. It actually came together. The top piece, well, I'll show you that. Let me go over the booklet here. And then I'll go over the, uh, the toy itself. And here's the cleaning procedure, how you make it, the pump action, which I'll show you. And then how to dispense, and I'll show you that. There's actually one more piece I think I have to put on there to get to dispense. Oh, no, I'm good. So we're all set there. So here's the recipes. This is what I want to show you. I think in the original video I just did apple juice and unsweetened Kool-Aid. But look, there's the orange juice, six ounces of soda, and one large measuring scoop of tropical punch, which I have. Here's a 12-ounce cola. With one large measuring scoop sweetened cherry cola Kool-Aid mix, which I have something for that. Here's an orange juice lemon lime soda. I can do that one. And actually, I think I've got enough to do everything that's in these uh, recipes. But don't forget now, name your own recipe. So if you want to put milk in there or whatever you really want, it's up to you. Because the cups are reusable, see, and washable. And they basically suggest... Uh, Try them all, then make up your very own special recipes too. Hint, before you start, make sure you have everything you need. And I do. And everything is washed and ready to go. So next, I'm going to talk about the uh, drink fountain. Alright, so here is the unit itself. This side here is a storage area. You can even put your, or move your straws and put your measuring spoon in there. And those go in. And then the cups, this piece uh, in and out real easy, slides in there. And there's the cups. Let me show you the back. Not much to the back, but I'm showing it to you anyway. And then this actually comes out, so you can easily wash this whole unit. And then this comes off, and then this is what you're actually pressing. And it's moving liquid to create bubbles to make the drink fountain effect. And then to dispense, you're pushing this back with your cup, and it's allowing the liquid to pour out. All right, so that's how that works. So when I come back now, I will have uh, the ingredients for the first recipe, and we'll get started. All right, here we go. It is time for the first recipe, and this is the one I did in the original video. And I don't even think I measured anything out in regards to the apple juice. I just poured it in. So now I'm going to stay closer to the original recipe. Now, it calls for 12 ounces, and I have 11 and a half, so I'm a half ounce short. But I can just put a little bit in there, so we're 
right on and then one scoop I don't know if I showed you the scoop there's the small side which is what I'm going to be using and then the bigger side for the stuff that's pre-sweetened so the unsweetened that goes in a sweet drink you're using that so I can leave that out so basically it's poured in and get started so let's do it let's take a lid off and we'll put up one whole one in now I shook these up there was a lot of stuff on the bottom for the apple juice Oh, and these have these peel lids. Oh, hard to get open. My hands are a little wet when I grab the outside of the bottle. Lift and pull. There you go. So here we are. Okay, and then another half an ounce, which is not a lot, but I'll just put a little bit in. Okay, and then one scoop of the cherry Kool-Aid mix unsweetened. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, so one scoop. Okay, and then the directions originally said, let me see, I'm pretty sure it said to mix. And then stir thoroughly. So they want you to pre-mix it before you start the juicing action. And what I'm going to do, because I want to save between recipes, I don't want to uh, waste all this. I'm going to put it back in my original containers and save it and drink it later. Okay, so that's set. So now you put the lid on. And... Here is the fountain action. See that in there? So let's get in there a little bit and try from a little different couple angles so you can see what it's doing. Now this also helps the mixing, but they did say to pre-mix. See how the liquid is shooting against the glass like a drink fountain? Well, that's the effect we're going for. Let's see it from the back. Maybe, you know, different perspective. Why not? Oh, there you go. Now you see it shooting and hitting the glass. Okay, so when you're ready, it says to hold the unit so you don't tip it over. Take your cup, put it in, and then push on the back. Now when I do the, uh, well, they actually called it, what do they call it? I'll just tell you in a second. It's called the Real Jet Spray Action. Now I'll show you with a little less liquid in there, the Real Jet Spray Action. See it now? Ooh, I had a drop. Okay. When I move this, you'll see I had one tiny drop on the base. Look at that. So then you put your lid on. And your straw in and give it a taste. Apple juice and cherry Kool-Aid. And I probably could put ice in there. Maybe on the next one I'll put some crushed ice in. Uh, my apple juice was cold right out of the refrigerator. So that is, let me pour a little bit more. Recipe number one. Let me give you a little bit more. And like I said, I'm going to save all this. See what it looks like? It's nice and thick and refreshing. Ooh, another drop just fell. I should probably hold it there when I'm done, just for a second so it doesn't drip. Okay, so let me uh, clean up, and then I'll get started on another uh, recipe here. All right, here we go for the next recipe. I just wanted to show you that uh, here is the first batch. So if you want to make this on your own, just get, you know, get one of these bottles, and then put a little unsweetened Kool-Aid, and you will understand how it tastes. It's nice, it's sweet. It's tasty, so that was the first one. Now the second recipe called for a few more items. It's a can of what they call soda pop. And I'm going to assume they meant a lemon-lime soda because later on they do say lemon-lime soda. And they also mentioned cola soda, so I do have some cola. 
But I don't think cola and tropical uh, Tropicana orange juice would make a good mix. So that's why lemon lime, Tropicana, and then he called for one large measuring scoop of tropical punch. Now we had these cool little Kool-Aid fellas here. We have tropical punch, grape, orange, cherry, and this last one, which was watermelon. So they're pretty cool. Thought we'd bring them in here. We've been had them for a little bit. So we're going to use the tropical punch. Maybe these will show up in another video at another date. Because this has a specific measurement. It's uh, So one squeeze for each eight ounces of liquid. Always dilute. So you don't want to drink it straight. And then look, look at my fingers. I've got cherry on them. So this is the tropical one. Now, I've never had this. So I'm just going to squeeze. It says one squeeze. So I have, so I'm going to be mixing 12 ounces and this is for eight. So I'm just going to do a little extra squeeze in there. Let's get in here. Who's had these little tropical punch squeeze? Hmm. Let's not get in there. It's really on there. Okay. looks like I need to, it says tear here. Hmm. Easier said than done. Ah, there we go. Okay, and then this just opens. I don't even know if I need to shake a little. All right, so we need to get more specific with our amounts here because it calls for six ounces of each liquid. So six ounces of orange juice. we go. Three quarters of a cup that is. And then let me take my fountain top off. Put that in there. And then six ounces of a cola. Right there. Sorry if I didn't have that in the frame all the way. Here we go. That's going to give it some fizz. All right. And then some squirts of this. One. And a little bit. There we go. Now I'll mix it up like they did the first time. Although the pumping action will probably do the trick. And then I'll put the top on and here we go. That's going to help mix it. Well, when I poured the 12 ounces of uh, apple juice in there, didn't it go a little higher? So if one of those are more than 12 ounces, interesting. I'll find out. Okay, nicely mixed. Let's get our cup. Let's just see if we can get a better angle inside. Hold it. And push. Got to use two hands for that. It's almost the same color as the last one. But I'm sure the taste is going to be much different. Okay. So here's what we have. Oh, I didn't wait for the drip. But it didn't drip. Don't drip. Don't drip. Came out nice. Mixed up good. You notice these even have an M on them with a couple little flowers or patterns. Here we go. Ooh, I like that one. That one's very sweet. It's almost like a punch. It's very much like a punch. Now remember, the drink maker was supposed to go along with the other maker. So you'd make your hamburger with the set, make your bread, french fries, 
and then make yourself a drink. So you do it all in one sitting. And I'm just kind of showing you the sets individually. So there, oh, look. Anybody see it drip? All right, so that is the second one. So let me move that to a bottle and move on to the next one. Well, here we are. I'm ready for the next recipe. Now, it actually called for sweetened strawberry, but I'm going to do grape because I want to get a different color in here than red. So it's 12 ounces of orange juice, one large measuring scoop of sweetened strawberry Kool-Aid mix. Since I'm using this, I'm just following their recommendations for the number of squirts in eight ounces. And then I brought some ice in. But I wanted to show you, and I did notice earlier, and I've noticed this before, there is a line here. And every time I've measured 12 ounces, it actually hasn't been on the line. And I'm guessing that is the fill line just to get close to it. But let's see. Remember the first time I did the apple juice at 12 ounces? It was over the line. So now I'm going to take a full orange juice and just see where this hits. I'm curious if it's over or under. All right, so technically speaking, it is just a little bit over 12 ounces, all right? So let's see how that measures to the line. See this line right here? I don't know if you could see it, but we'll... So that's the line, and this is what's extra. So we're just a little bit over the line. So it's pretty accurate. I would say it's spot on. Okay. And then one measuring scoop of the strawberry, but I'm going to use grape. Now I'm going to have to struggle with this again. I hope not. Oop. Much easier on that one. Well, I thought it was easier. Oop, I can get it. Give it a quick shake. So we'll see what color this turns out. Squirt. Squirt. Interesting color. And I brought in some ice. Just to chill it up a little bit. Nice. Now that brought us way over the fill line. But what does that look? Looks like brown. <laughs> It is brown, but I'm going to drink it anyway, because it may not look good, but I'm sure it's going to taste good. Orange and grape, that's a good combination. Well, it kind of has a hint of purple, just the camera's not picking up the color that great. Let's mix it. There we go. Get our cup. And pour. You know, part of experimenting, you just don't know what you're going to get, especially when you're mixing colors. That's a nice chocolatey brown drink. Let's get the lid on there. Let me put an ice cube in there this time. Whoa, flying cubes. I'll taste it anyway. Surprisingly, the taste is good. I taste a lot of the grape. It's a really good, strong, sweet grape flavor. I kind of like these little uh, Kool-Aid mixes. They're easier. You just squirt it in water whenever you want. You're ready to go. Well, I almost finished that one. All right, so that is recipe number three. Should we do one more? The next one calls for a whole can of soda. So let's do that one next. All right, so here we go. This is the last one. Decided to do the 12 ounces of cola. Decided to use Coca-Cola. And then cherry Kool-Aid. Now, originally, remember, it called for the sweetened powder mix. But I have a little cherry here. So it's pretty much been using them all for this video. So let me uh, get started here. Take off the lid. And put in 12 ounces of cola. Now, this should be... Spot on. Here, I haven't done any good pouring shots. Let's do let's do a pouring shot, huh? That's always fun to watch, a pour. The bubbles and the fizzes. 
Now this one might be as brown as the last one. Okay, now that's about a quarter of an inch over the fill line. And then let's get this uh, cherry set. And yeah, my fingers are still from the original powdered cherry. Shake it up. See, it's not very accurate. It says, by the glass, one squeeze for eight ounces. So that's why I'm putting in a squeeze and a little bit extra. I'm not sensing a major color change here. And look at the tip of that, that little bottle. I don't know if you could see it. Once you squeeze it, it kind of opens up. It's like a little heartbeat almost. Okay, lost track there. Here we go. Squeeze. One. Ooh, cool. And a partial. So it did change it to a nice red. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ice in my cup. Okay, so again, I'm using the over the fill line. So a 12 ounce can goes over the line. Ooh, that makes a nice fizz. I don't know, let me just see if I can show you the fill line. Here was the fill line right here, and you see how much over it was for the can. It's making a nice fizzing sound. was that cool all right so it is time now a little ice in there hold it and push that's making a nice fizzy bubbly drink you know as soon as the cola hits the how's that one that's probably going to be my favorite. Who likes cherry coke out there? I do. All right, let's put a lid on it. Ah, the drip. Who saw the drip? All right, let's give this one a taste. Ooh, that is good. I'm going to say that one's my favorite. I'm a cherry coke fan. Nice. Let me fill a little bit more here. a refill. That deserves a refill. And then I think I'll do the fountain again. And then a nice fountain blast. Wow, that's the coolest one, I think. Because of the fizz of the pop. Look at that. I just can't stop. Well, there you go. So I'm gonna do a little clean up here and come back and then just do a final thoughts. All right, I'm back. I wanted to bring in all my mixed drinks so you can see them. And then this was the cherry Coke that was in there. So I'm gonna pour them all right now in order how we saw them in the video, at least if I remember it correctly. There's one. And then we had the first one, which was the apple juice and the cherry. We'll give them each a little bit of ice. Kind of top them off a little bit. Okay, and then the next one, that was the mix. That was the orange juice, the soda, and the tropical, was it tropical punch? I think that's what I did. A little bit of ice on that one. So if you're not allowed to have sweet type drinks, then you can probably make it with tea or anything you really want. It's up to you. And then the last one, yes, this is the strangest of all the colors, but it was still tasty. And a little more ice in that one. Okay, so what do you think? Which would you like? The most which, which would you want to taste and would you try the one that looks a little brown so that is all for and I hope you enjoyed the video the remake video of this set 
And if you want to see all the other remake videos, there will be a link in the description that's to a playlist where you could see all the sets, or you could just search our channel for uh, McDonald's Makers. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.